Welcome to this week's edition of the Planalytics Pantry Challenge. This week is Māori Language Week. Ko Anthony Aho, Tenakoto, 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 Kato. Kia ora. So, today, what's in our pantry challenge box? We have chickpeas, we have some frozen veg, we have some cumin, some coriander, one clove of garlic which I've squashed and made into a puree, half a lemon, a little bit of butter and salt and pepper, and some oil. So, what are we going to make with this today? So, I'm thinking what we could make is some falafel. They're not really falafel, I suppose. These are little chickpea fritters. So first of all, we're going to get our chickpeas and we're going to drain off the excess water. Um, with this excess water, you can actually whip it up and use it as an egg substitute. There is a fancy name for it, but I can't remember what it's called now. So aquafaba. Aquafaba, there we go. Right, so we want to try and get rid of as much juice as that as possible because we can always add some if our mixture is too dry. So if we get our chickpeas, I haven't got any fancy kitchen whizzes, I'm just going to use the back of a rolling pin. So all we're going to do is we're going to mush this up and then after this we're going to add our ingredients. So we've got a teaspoon of coriander, a teaspoon of cumin, um, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, few twists of pepper and a little squeeze of lemon juice. We've got a little pan heat in here um, just ready for the fritters because we're going to try and do it under 10 minutes. That's the plan Stan and we've got a little bit of water there as well. So with chickpeas what can we do? There's an Indian dish called uh, chai which is like um, curried chickpeas with spinach. Um, what else could we do? Make hummus. We could make like roast vegetable hummus, or we could do zucchini and basil hummus, we could do uh, capsicum hummus, uh, smoked paprika hummus, we could do a curried hummus, we could do a beetroot hummus, lots of different ones we could do. Right, so that's about ready. Then we're going to add our ingredients. So as I said, about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Again, we can always add extra to it, but we can't take it out. A teaspoon of coriander, a teaspoon of Cumin, a teaspoon of our garlic, which I pureed earlier, just gave it a good bashing. Like we learnt in um, Pantry Challenge 2, didn't we? When we did. Squeeze you were making lemon juice. Meat. Obviously, if you have any fresh herbs, I don't, I'm just using stuff from the pantry today. So, yeah, if you had parsley, coriander, mint, anything like that, <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my hands today as well. Right, so as I said with this, if the mixture is a little bit wet, you could add some bread crumbs um, to, or a little bit of flour if you wanted to. If it's a little bit um, too dry, again, you could add, keep, a, keep the, the juice from that. You could add a little bit of oil, a tiny bit of water. Um, what are you trying to get? What's the consistency that you're so going for? Basically, yeah, so we're just going to, it's almost like a mashed potato consistency, I suppose, really. Yeah, we can make little rounds. They don't have to be perfect. Um, yeah, there you go. We'll do some of these. This will most probably serve about two or three people. And then just today with the veggies, all we're gonna do is warm them through with a little bit of butter, salt and pepper. But again, with those frozen veggies, you can make a little soup. Um, if you don't have any onions or garlic, you could just get, you know, um, just boil it up with a little butter and water, blend it into a to a soup with a bit of toast. Um, what would you, because have you got water in that pan? Yeah, there's just a tiny bit of water in there, just ready to warm oh, okay. up. okay. But if you were making soup, you'd you'd have more water, I guess. Yes. But again, it's one of those things, when you come to blending it, um, use as less water as possible to make your puree, to, to, or to make the soup, because obviously it can, be, it can be too sloppy. So it's always, again, better to not have so much water, because then again, you get the pure flavour of the ingredients of what you're cooking. Mm. Right, so we've done our last little one, I think, here. Yeah. And if these were falafel, you, traditionally, would they deep fry? Yeah, they would deep fry them. And again, they would have a, uh, had a bit of tahini, uh, which is like a sesame paste. Uh, yeah, and then normally do it with like a little yogurt and stuff like that. So right, I'm just gonna fry these off. So a little bit of oil, whatever you can lay your hands on, olive oil, um, you know, just canola oil, vegetable oil, whatever, whatever you can get. Right, so we're just going to fry these off 
turn it into a medium heat. Let's see how you go, actually. We can be a bit luxurious. We've got a little bit of butter, so we can put a little bit of butter in there as well. Why not? Yep. Mmm, yum. Okay, so while that's, while that's cooking, we're just going to get our veggies, put them in the, in the water. Again, a little bit of butter. If you've got butter, if not, if you've got a bit of marge, a bit of oil, and again, a little pinch of salt, a couple of grinds of some pepper. And that's that. So yeah, these are just cooking now, so you just want them to, to caramelize, maybe a little bit more. And these will be really filling, won't they, with yeah, the I mean, chickpeas? Yep, yeah, the chickpeas are but really nutritious. There's no sugar or anything in them. Um, and again, with the veggies, you could even blend that in with these. Uh, so you could make, yeah, you know, you could even do pea ones. You could do like a, chick a chickpea pea. Chickpea pea <laughs> fritters, yeah, exactly. Why not? So yeah, just till they're nice and golden brown. Just be careful of your fingers. Do they need much cooking? No, just till they're warm through in the middle. I mean, they don't even have to be warm because you eat hummus cold, so yeah. Mm. Right, so this is just warm through now. These are nearly done. And then we're just gonna plate up. Yeah. I guess it's a great vegetarian dish. Yep, great to and even- Gluten free too. Yep, if you don't have, have any butter, it's vegan as well. Um, so yeah, everybody's happy. And uh, and again, if you have a little bit of meat, you could just fry a little bit of lamb, and that could go with this as well. Mm, yeah. so we're just going to plate up now. Just get our little chickpea fritters. Mm. That's it. And just get our veggies. We're just going to drain them off a little bit, so there's. No excess water that goes all over the plate. You don't have to do this. Yeah. Put it all around like that. And I, I mean, this is any vegetables, right? You just literally. I mean, this is this is literally, a, you know, in the food parcel, a little frozen vegetable mixture that we got. So we're just gonna put that with it. Um, yeah, again, if you've got any little herbs or bits and pieces or a little pesto, a little bit, yeah, you can do that, a little yogurt. And voila, so here we have my chickpea fritters with a little mixed vegetables. Thanks for watching today's uh, pantry challenge number four. <laughs> the end. Tenakoto, Tenakoto. Tenakoto Pato. Happy cooking, signing off, and.